Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the V Business Builders Saturday morning training. I'm Brian Delmas, if you don't know me. And if you guys, if at all possible, if you could put your cameras on, this is a, a working meeting. Uh, it's not a dictatorship or a lecture. Uh, what we're going to do is just give you some ideas that work, right? I, I, uh, I run my business every Saturday morning. I take a couple hours and I reach out to people and I book appointments in a very, very simple manner. So we're, we're working on that here. And I run a five-hour week business model. So we're going to coach you a little bit about that. So uh, first of all, welcome. If you're brand new, welcome to the team. Welcome to the family. We've got the, uh, the fastest growing team in all of Vives. So you guys should all be proud of yourself. I'm just looking around here. A lot of people ranking up. I know um, Kathy just made pace setter, uh, I think, last week. So great job, Kathy. Uh, Warner ranked up to, I think, 650. We got uh, Quentin ranked up. Jeez, I mean, almost everybody here. You guys are killing it. So great job. And um, I think this Saturday morning is part of the community and the family that um, doesn't exist in other companies where we can come on and, and really just teach you guys how to roll up your sleeves and what to say and how to say it. And if you're, um, if you're plugging into Saturday mornings, what will happen over a period of time is you're just going to get better and better and better and better and you'll see your business grow and grow. So it kind of gives you that, that weekly cadence, if you will. Uh, I always, you know, when people are starting a new business, a lot of times they don't have the methods of operation. It's something new into their life, right? So they don't have the habits. They don't have the habits that are necessary uh, to build this business. Uh, so I always uh, coach people. I say, listen, what you want to do is have on your calendar. When do you work in this business? So for me, Tuesday nights at 7, Saturday mornings at 10, and then I book three to five appointments a week just showing the business model. So I just want to talk about some very, very simple things, right? We don't want to overcomplicate this. When you're signing up a new distributor, there's four steps, right? They become a pro member, upload your bills, right? So if anybody here hasn't uploaded your own bills yet, you want to take the time to do that. Don't overlook that point. And then the next thing is to get to 10 points, 10 bills, right? So you might have two or three bills yourself. It means you need seven more bills from somebody else. Now, sometimes people struggle here a little bit and that's okay especially if you've never done sales, if you've never had a business, it's okay if you struggle. Um, struggling is not, is not failure. Quitting is failure, right? So what we're here to do with you guys uh, today and going forward is just help you with some of the language, help you launch your business. And also if you need upline support, you can make connections here too. All right. So one of the things I want to share with you that I just did, um, we have this, um, this Vive at Sea promotion where you could uh, win a cruise for two. And um, there was a, you could either recruit a bunch of consultants and get some bills or get a bunch of bills and recruit a couple of consultants. But long story short, I had more than enough consultants recruited, but I didn't have the minimum of five bills in. Now I, you know, I started my business a long time ago. So I, I have over, I have hundreds of points, but as far as the contest goes, I didn't have five bills inside of the contest period. So I'm like, all right, how am I going to do this? And I just went back to basics. Right. One of the things that allowed me to get so many customers in the beginning is I was reaching out looking for some help. So if I was reaching out to my, my buddy, Kirk, hey, Kirk, what's happening? Man, listen, I, I have a business. That I need a little bit of help. That's the text I would say. I have a business. I need a little bit of help. I need to get your opinion on something. or I need to share something with you. Well, uh, network marketing is relationship marketing. So if you're brand new and you're looking to get your customers still, don't be afraid to ask your friends and family for help. Right. You got to remember, we don't have a product to sell. So it's not it's not the same old thing. Hey, I need some help. Buy my two hundred dollar product. That's that's not this. I need some help. I just need you to give me a few minutes. Love to show you what I'm doing. I can help you out. It's going to save you a few bucks. But more importantly, it's going to help me and my family in our in our business here, too. Would you have a few minutes to chat? So uh, I used that language um, last week and I reached out to a a colleague, I mean, he's a friend, but not like a close friend. I didn't grow up with him, anything like that. He's actually the guy that I, um, anytime I want to rent a limousine to go to the airport, I use his service. So we've known each other for probably 15 years or so. And I just reached out to Dan on a text, said, hey, Dan, I need your help with something. Can we, uh, can we jump on a quick call? He said, absolutely. Now, I reciprocate business with this guy. So, you know, we have a pretty good re relationship. And I just gave him a little two minute pitch and I sent him the two minute video. I said, it's harmless for you, but it's going to help me. I told him I was straight out honest. It's going to help me qualify for a massive bonus. 
It's going to save you a few bucks. It's harmless. doesn't cost you anything. Right. And the video does all the explaining, but I said, more importantly, you're going to be helping me out. And he was more, he was, um, what did I say? More committed and connected to helping me than he was the savings on his own bills. He gave me 13 bills from his business. And then he followed up the next day with four more from his home. So I want you guys to understand in the early days, it's okay to ask people for help. There's a few different ways you can go about this. But what I want to say is you roll your sleeves up. Roll your sleeves up, go to work, get yourself past 30 points. I can't, I can't uh, stress enough how important it is for you guys, especially if you're new, is to get yourself past those 30 points in the first 30 days. Now, guys, you have 60 days to do it, but I wouldn't take 60 days. It's not, it's, if, you, if you go to work, it doesn't take that long. And in network marketing, what happens is um, usually what you do in your business is what duplicates in your business below you, some, some measure of that. So if you take 60 days to get your 30 points, most of your team's going to do the same thing. If you don't get your 30 points, most of your team will duplicate that too. If you work your business like, you know, one day here and then take three weeks off and then work it again, your team will probably duplicate till that as well. And it'll be a very slow and painful growth, right? So what we're doing here is we're giving you methods of operation that are very high impact. We're going to go into a tech blitz after I do a little bit of training here. And what I want you to do is, is commit to reaching out to 50 people. It might sound like a lot, but it only takes about two hours or at least 30 people. Saturday mornings, at least work an hour, if not two, in your business for your family and your future. It's not my business. My business is, is flourishing, and this is why. I want to help you guys succeed, though. So you got to use your calendar. you got to say, okay, Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock, like I'm, I'm blocking that out. I'm going to go to the presentation. I'm going to bring people to it. I'm going to learn, do a little bit of training. Uh, we also have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's at 10 o'clock Eastern. So depending on your time zone, we can chat about that too. But make sure you personally are at least plugging into one presentation a week where you're watching one of us present the business. You're bringing people there. You're bringing your team there. Get into that method of operation. That's one hour a week. And then an hour on Saturday mornings. Three to five appointments for the week. You're talking about a legitimate five-hour week business model. Right? I want you to think about that. That methodology is what made me the number two earner in the company. And I don't say that to impress you. I say it to impress upon you. That is very, very part-time. I think you guys all agree five hours is part-time, right? And I, I always, you know, when I'm recruiting somebody, I ask them, you know, do you have five hours a week? Can you give me an hour here, an hour there, and maybe, you know, three to five half-hour slots? Because if they can't, I don't sign them up. I don't sign them up. You, you, you're not in business if you can't work five hours a week, right? So make sure you guys have at least a five hour week business model. Otherwise it's going to be just, just really slow. And that's, there's nothing wrong with going slow if that's what you want too. I just want you guys to be successful. So uh, those are the steps, right? Become a pro, upload your bills, get to 30 points, and then you start building your team. That's what we're going to work on here today. Um, when you move into business building mode, which is what most, after your 30 points, I'm just reaching out to people. Hey, Warner, what's happening? Are you still in your accounting business? Listen, I have a business idea when I'm by you. I'm not sure if it'd be a fit, but I'd love to jump on a quick call. Love to jump on a Zoom. You want to get some language like that, right? Now, that's the type of language you can text to 50 people. You can Facebook message, you can text, you can LinkedIn message, email, whatever's good for you. Some of you might even want to do phone calls. If you're old school, you can pick up the phone and start calling people. It's just that what we found in today's technology is if you call 20 people, you're going to get 19 voicemails usually, but people respond to texting. Even if they're driving, they respond to your text, right? So Nolan, are you on here, brother? I think I saw you pop on somewhere. I don't know if he's I am. On. Hey, what's I am. up? What's going on? So I, I love Nolan's uh, one, two punch. Him and I really resonate here. We're, we're coming at this very, very similar. So when I'm texting people, I'm texting to break the ice. I'm not texting to sell them the whole deal. I'm texting them to get on a phone call or a Zoom meeting. And uh, Nolan, you, you go straight to phone calls mostly, huh? I do. I so do. Why don't you, why don't like... you ex explain that a little bit? Because I don't want to – I want to give people a couple <clears throat> options here, you know? 
Well, the reason I go straight to uh, straight to the phone is because the phone is always important. You can't break up with somebody over the phone. You can't tell somebody somebody passed over the phone. It's it's the importance of you get text messages all day, but when you see a phone call, they're like, "Man, what's up?" Right. And the other thing about the phone is, uh, and you you know this, I, I I I try to teach this as much as possible is the inflections in your voice, mm. right? If you're not feeling, if you're not feeling your best, don't pick up the phone, send a text. But if you, but you know, to see that excitement, that, that thrill, like, Hey, Brian, Hey man, I got something to mm. talk to you about. This thing is that cause energy is transferred. Right. And so w- once you start really talking about the, you know, the energy, when you get that energy and things, you can literally get people out of breath from your energy. Have you ever got a phone call and somebody's on there? You're like, wait, wait, what? What? <laughs> like, like literally you could get people excited. So even if you said all the wrong things, but this is a true relationship with the person that you have, if you said everything wrong and just that energy, they'll stay in it with you to try to figure out there's got to be something that I don't understand because guy is so excited and I don't know what it is. So so that's that's what I like to call. So I do a call from from touch point to touch point just to initiate it, uh, set up a time, uh, send them the two, tell them I'm going to send them the two minute video. If I would you, if I send you a video, would you watch it? Set up a time to follow up with them. Ask them when I follow up with them. Ask them what did I like? What did you like about it? Tell them what I liked about it and then get them to the next video or the phone call and then set up a time again. When, when can I follow up with you? If you're watching a recorded video, then let me call you the next day. If it's going to be the live phone call where you can ask questions, then I'm going to call you probably right, right after. Then I'm going to say, you know, are, do you see why I'm so excited? Going back to the excitement at first, do you see why I'm so excited? give them a trial close and then maybe do a three-way call if it needs to be after that. But that's my process. No, I like it. I love it. And that's, uh, this, this is Eric Worre, um 101 trainings we're doing here. Both uh, Nolan and I kind of grew up old school. And uh, I think Eric Worre is arguably the best trainer in the world right now for the professional side of network marketing. So um, one of the things here in my you- notes is, what's that, bud? I was going to say, we did grow up old school, but I do think you're older than me, and big shout out to Justice League. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, when I cut my teeth in network marketing, I, my goal was seven figures. I mean, that's just it. I'm not saying that's your goal, but if you want to be successful, there's a book called GoPro. Uh, get the book, get the audible, whatever, whatever your flavor is, the MP3s. If you go to networkmarketingpro.com, you can uh, sign up for Eric's um, website. It's like a $6 book. He sends it out just for shipping. And if you're going to get one book, there you go, GoPro, right? Eric Worre. That's a four-year degree in network marketing. All I did my first year is I, lo- I looped the Audible in my car. I listened to that book 100 times in six months. And if you understand the space repetition of content, that's probably, that'll get you out of the blocks. That'll, that'll get your, your network marketing language good. And that's where... Everything Nolan just said there comes from Eric, Eric Worre's uh, eight-part system. So, you know, if you're making a go with this, make sure you have, um, make sure you're, you're increasing your, your awareness and your knowledge because professional network marketers, um, they don't make six figures. Like a professional network marketer makes seven, eight, or even nine figures. You know, a professional surgeon makes six figures, half million, 750, right? But a professional network marketer will actually get into the seven and eight figures. So this, you know, and I'm not saying that's your goal. I'm just saying the information in that book, well, uh, that's, that's what's in my head and that's what helped us do really well. So guys, I want to go through a little bit of a mindset training with you really short here for network marketers. It's, it's for all aspects of your life, but this will help you if you're brand new, this will help you condition your mind to um, some of the responses you might get from some people. And I just want to show you how an entrepreneur thinks compared to the masses, right? Um, Nolan, give me a nod if you can see this, brother. Cool, thanks. All right, guys, so I want you to understand when we're born and we're programmed from our parents and school and society, it's not good or bad. 
uh, we're programmed to look at our results. So if, if you're brand new in network marketing, you've been in for 30 days and you're looking around at your results. It's like, I haven't sponsored anybody. I got two customers. Uh, we're programmed to look at our results. People look at their current bank accounts. They look at their current body, their relationships. And unfortunately, we're taught to look at our results to cause our thinking. Think about this. When we're in grade school, right, even, you know, first, first grade, second grade, we're looking at report cards. We're taught to look at a report card. Oh, I'm a C student. It's like, no, you're not. That's what you were thinking six months ago, not right this present moment. Right? So we're taught at an early age to look at results, 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 and to cause our thinking. So the, that's, um, that's a, a fundamental flaw from early childhood. Right? That's like looking backwards to run a marathon. Or it's like working with ice cubes to get warm. It's not, it's not how entrepreneurs do it. This is not how successful people think. But this is how we're all programmed, right? We look at our results. We look at the bank account. causes our thinking. And that thinking causes our feelings. Right? Especially now, if you're at a job that it's not serving you, you don't like it, or if your current situation is not pleasant or it's not where you want to go, it's not your goal, um, then those feelings are going to be in a low vibration. If you tell me I feel sad or depressed, what you're saying is I'm in a low vibration. Now, Nolan is in a high vibration. That dude is always in a high vibration. And if you know Nolan, you know what I mean. Now, we look at that and say, oh, man, he's enthusiastic. Well, enthusiasm is internal energy expressed outwards. That's all it is. Somebody that's enthusiastic, they're not dependent on the outside world to cause their feelings. They feel from the inside out. And that's what Nolan does. And that's what uh, any good leader or anybody that's successful at a high level, they're expressive, right? So if we're using our current results and your results aren't good, then it's going to set up this self-fulfilling doom cycle is what Bob calls it, right? So those feelings tend to produce the actions. Now, this is like Groundhog Day because we're looking at our results, right? Our paycheck or whatever. Uh, it, it doesn't get us fired up, right? So then the thinking is like, well, you just go to work and do whatever. Feelings are low and then the, the actions are low too. What I want to do is I want to show you guys how the 1% thinks. And when I say 1%, I'm not just talking money. I'm talking about people uh, like myself that live a heavenly life where you're doing exactly what you want. You get to craft your day. You, the money's flowing. Uh, you have good relationships and you're, you're impacting a lot of people, right? Now we start with new thinking. New thinking is what do you want? You want to wake up every morning with what do you want? Not what happened in the past. Unless you've already hit all the goals you want to hit in your life, you want to have the new thinking. That makes sense, guys? Now when you start with the new thinking, let's, let's take V, for example. Let's say you, you just jumped into V and you, know, you have a goal of you want to hit diamond, you, know, you want to hit executive, you want to hit partner in three months or something. That's new thinking. That new thinking is going to cause new vibrations or higher feelings. The new feelings cause the body to move in a different direction. That's what we want to get you to do here. Guys, it doesn't matter what your results were. It only matters where you want to go and what you're willing to do, right? So new actions have to cause new results. That's why we come on Saturday mornings. I want to condition you guys. I don't care if you sign anybody up. I just care that you send out 50 messages. I just care that you put energy out on a weekly, consistent basis. Right? If you're studying for your mind and you're studying network marketing, I'm, not, I'm talking 15 minutes a day, just listen to the Eric Worre book, and you're taking daily measurable action, you're designed to figure this out. You'll get better and better and better and better. It's, it's so simple that most people miss it. We're talking five hours a week, a little bit of studying. If you do these things repetitively, you'll get better and better. And uh, Nolan, we had uh, a Ronde was on last night, man. I texted you. I'm like, you see your boy go? Like he's all up front and center now. Like he's ready to take over the training and lead. And that boy wouldn't say boo before. And um, they, I'm talking a few weeks. We all been working together. Like he's absolutely up, right. That's a good example of somebody that's just doing the work. He's doing the work, and he got some nose in the beginning, but but he showed up for every Saturday. He shows up every Tuesday. He shows up. He shows up. He shows up, and he stays connected to the community. And now he's got his language down a little bit. Now he's having success. I'm talking just in a few weeks. And I want to add to that. I want to add to that. that sure he, he and, and Orandi is one of my best friends. I've been knowing him for over 30 years. But I want to add to that. He's always on the phone with me, though. I made a, a, I made a, a statement a, a week or so ago, and I said, if you guys are ready to give up, shame on you, especially if you haven't had me on the phone. Mm. If it's been only 30 days, literally one month, for you to even build your habits and things like that, especially if you're doing this part-time, 
you cannot literally do that in 30 days. So you're still trying to figure it out. If you haven't gotten me on the phone to help you out, to say, I can't even get people to pick up the phone, shame on you. Mm -hmm. Rwanda keeps me on the phone. Mm -hmm. So I just want to put that out there. Big shout out to Rwanda. Well, that's the biggest thing he's doing. Like he's, he's actually, he's actually using the system. Network marketing is not start a business and do it all yourself. Network marketing is start a business, learn how to peak interest and use your upline, use your videos, use your resources, use, 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 right? Network marketers are professional pointers. And this is the biggest thing I think people miss is they try to do it all themselves. They try to, you know, reach out in a different way. And then they try to just explain it by talking instead of using the tools like a video or an upline. I tell brand new people, listen, you want to get customers, just peak interest with your family and get me on a zoom meeting with them. I'll do all the heavy lifting. I'll explain it. We'll enroll them right there. They'll, they'll enroll. I promise you, because it makes sense. And then you get to hear the language, right? So make sure you guys, if you're new, use your upline, you know, use the tools that you have. Let us help you. Um, if you started a brand new restaurant, you wouldn't see if it worked in 30 days or not and fold it up. Like you're, you're all in, you probably put a quarter million startup. Like you, you got that three to five year mentality of businesses don't make it until three to five years. People start network marketing. Like, like Nolan said, 30 days later, if they're not having like flourishing success, uh, they start to get questions and this is why. So, um, I always tell people, listen, your business for the 189, it's up and running for a year. Let's give this a good solid year push together. 12 months. You do what I ask. You show up. Give me five hours a week. I promise you success. Anybody that does that, 100% guaranteed to have success. You know, 100 times out of 100. Um, but they're going to do their part. So, But I want you guys, you guys should take a screenshot of this. Because I promise you, if you haven't studied mindset, you're programmed the other way. You're looking at the results and you're letting that cause your thinking. And if you're in a low vibration, it doesn't feel good to people. It's magnetism. Right? So I'm going to show you guys a little bit more about how the mind works in general. This is not a network marketing thing. This is just in general. We have a conscious mind, a subconscious mind, and a body. Again, you want to take a screenshot of this. It's going to go really fast. Most people, I mean, we're born in ignorance. We're born into generational ignorance. Ignorance isn't a bad term. It just means not knowing. Right? So we're programmed when we have worry and doubt. When we don't know something, like we jump into network marketing, we have worry and doubt. Will this work? What are my friends going to think? What's my family going to think? And that worry and doubt in the conscious mind has to express as fear in the subconscious mind. Fear is an emotion, right? Emotion is energy in motion. And it's an illusion. People like Nolan and myself, we have faith, not fear. They're opposite sides of the same thing. You can only be in one or the other. You can't be in both at the same time. And it is a choice, so why not choose faith? Anytime I start something new, I just have faith it's going to work. Most people have fear that it won't. It's a choice. I mean, if you're going to pick a choice and it's your choice, why not have faith that's going to work instead of fear that it won't? Because here's the deal. If you've ever heard the term self-sabotaging, this is what it is. When you have fear about something, you bring that about. What we pray for happens. Fear is praying for what you don't want. That's all it is. Faith is praying for what you do want. And we, we teach people is to get into a constant state of gratitude and a constant state of faith. When you do that, you end up on the right side of the equation here, which is the positive energy flow. But this is what happens when you have fear, it has to express through the body in the physical form of anxiety. This is not opinion, this is science. So if anybody here has ever had anxiety, this is why. It all starts from your thought energy. You can't get to anxiety unless you're worrying and doubting something. It's impossible, right? You don't, you don't start in the middle of something, you gotta start with the energy. Now, then anxiety produces procrastination. This is what slows people down because they don't like the feeling, the nauseous feeling. I feel like I'm going to puke. I'm going to reach out to my friends and say, what? And they get cold sweats and it doesn't feel good. So it's easy to just put the phone down, go back to watching Netflix and watching other people live their dreams on the TV while you're just sitting there watching, right? So this is the part, this is the little terror barrier that, that no matter what business, no matter what you're doing, we've all done it. If you're going to go ask out that pretty girl or that handsome dude, if you're about to go to the gym for the first time and you're 100 pounds overweight, it doesn't matter what it is in your life. This is the feeling. And it's easier to make the feeling go away is to procrastinate. Right? Now, procrastination leads to depression because that's a human being not in creation. It doesn't feel good not to create. We're born creators. You're born to create. Retirement is the dumbest idea I've ever heard of. It's like planning to die. Right? What you want to do is find out what you love 
fall in love with something. I fell in love with helping people. I'm going to do this all the way to the end and even beyond the grave, right? This is the deal. So find out what you love. This, I love network marketing. It has nothing to do with the money. It has a little bit to do with the money. I love teaching, coaching, and training people. I found out I can take anybody, no matter what's going on in the world, teach them this little $189 business, give them a little bit of coaching, and just impact future generations of their entire family. So I, I fell in love with this. So guys, again, take a screenshot of this because this is the side you want to get on. Knowledge through study and understanding. That's what we're doing here a little bit today. You're learning how entrepreneurs think and act and operate. Um, network marketing, I said, get the GoPro book, a little bit of study, a little bit of understanding. All of a sudden, your inflections change, your action change, your vibration picks up, your posture picks up, you're calling more people, you're texting people, and you're having success. Uh, this leads to faith. This leads to faith. See, we fear what we don't know, but we have faith in what we do know. Everybody here has faith you can tie your shoes. You have faith you can get dressed because I can tell because you're not all sitting here naked, right? So we do have faith. When you were born, you couldn't put your clothes on. We would have used the word impossible. When you were a brand new baby, you couldn't even control your arms and legs. You weren't aware. So it's no different with what we're doing now, except we're all adults and we have uh, self images and egos and a whole bunch of things that, that slow us down. But if you can get on this side, faith is a high vibration. It, it'll feel good to be around you when you're in a faith based vibration because high vibrations feel good. And you can see here, it leads to acceleration, action, and a body that's at ease. All right, so take a screenshot of this. This is how you get here is waking up in the morning and putting good information in your head. All right, guys? So here's what happens with goals. If you have a goal, I don't care what it is, inside of Vive or outside, this is just general life training here, right? You'll have a goal in your conscious mind, something new. You know what? I, I do want to get to 50,000 a month. I've never done it. I'm making five grand now, but I want to get to 50,000. You got to get that goal into the subconscious mind through repetition. This is the same thing that happens to a soldier with PTSD. You're not born with PTSD. It's through the repetition of horrible events. It goes from the conscious into the subconscious, and it causes the body to break down, physically express in depression. That's all depression is. It's the opposite of um, enthusiasm. They're both physical expressions of mental states of mind. Um, so when you start to understand this stuff, so okay, this is why you don't just set a goal to get the 50 grand and it happens tomorrow. You got to live it, breathe it, feel it, taste it every morning. You got to get up on fire. You got to act as if you're already making the 50 grand or whatever your goal is. And by the space repetition of the emotionalized idea, it'll eventually get into the subconscious. The subconscious drives the body into action. And this is what we call results. Results are the physical expression of thought energy. That's all it is. So if you guys bite off on this and you text 50 people today and you do this every Saturday for 52 weeks, You'll see that the goal gets into the subconscious over time. Like Nolan said, your tonalities come up, your excitement comes up. It's, it's a process over time, though. And your results, they have to change. This is not a matter of opinion. It's a matter of physics. It's a transmutation of energy from the no thing to the something. All right, guys? So we can get you this. So, guys, unmute yourself. What do you think this looks like? Anybody can take a shot. Just unmute yourself. What does this look like to you guys? Confusion. Confusion. Chaos. 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 Total chaos. Total chaos. Complete meltdown, right? <laughs> yes. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Yep. No Every day. Too much input. <laughs> exactly. Nervous right. breakdown. This is what I fear. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I like the emoji that goes poof. Yeah, the, the mind explosion. But take a yeah. look at this. Because this is most this is how most people are running around operating. Mm -hmm. Really look at this picture. This is fear. This is energy flow. It's a low vibration. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, you're always in a state of creation. Human beings, you can't not be creating. It's just that most people are creating depression. That's a transmutation of energy. If you're in a low vibration, low mental state, you're going to physically express and create your whole universe to be very low vibrating. You ever notice depressed people hang out with depressed people? Well, <laughs> guess what? Billionaires hang out with billionaires. What does that mean? Human beings, that's the law of attraction. It should be called the law of magnetism because that's really what it is. You guys can't deny that magnets stick and you can't explain it either. Human beings are electromagnetic beings. You get yourself in a high vibration like Nolan, I don't care if you're broke. If you're in a high vibration like him, you're going to sign people up. That's just the deal, right? 
Now take a look at this picture. What does this represent to you guys? What does this look like? Happy. Happy, exactly. I was about to say total ecstasy. Not, I don't success. Know. Yeah. success. Not necessarily happy, because Steve Jobs was never really a happy guy if you study him. Yeah. Money. He, he created a lot of wealth, um, financial wealth, and he changed the world. But personally, I don't think he's happy. Yeah. It's called peace. They're not having to worry about anything. They're just. It's not that they don't worry. It's they have yeah. faith. They have faith. Ah, faith. These Game people changers. don't wonder if they're going to be successful. They don't care what you and I think. True. I promise, I promise you that. I Everybody, you guys, you care too much what other people think. They're high achievers. High achievers. Ryan, you are absolutely correct. Right? So here's what you got to do as a network marketer. You got to stop. You got to stop caring about what other people think, not in an egotistical way, in a faith-based service mindset. What are we really doing here? We're lowering people's bills in the time of global crisis. We're showing up, right? We're taking a stand for people and we're showing up in a faith-based mindset to help them. Now, they may not perceive it that way. Here's the deal. But it doesn't matter what they think. I need you guys to get to the point where you stop caring about what people think. Just focus on service to many. Focus on helping people. Get your vibration up. I literally want you guys to get to the point where you don't care what the response is. I don't care if your best friend says, dude, you're getting roped into a pyramid scheme. What are you doing? That, that shouldn't matter. You want to get bulletproof. There's another thing that lions are not concerned with the opinions of sheep. Now, I'm not saying this to step on people. I'm saying this. If you want to serve a lot of people, you can't be concerned with what people think that are not going in the direction that you're going. This is what faith is, All right, guys? Let's get back to the stick person. Here's your goal. You got to get into the subconscious. When you do, right, it raises the vibration of your body. What happens then is you start to attract the people, places, things, and what we call goals. These are physical goals, right? This is the thought energy. So when you guys get yourself to some of your goals, you can afford the vacations, the things, the philanthropy, whatever it is you guys want to do. It's just an expression of money. But this is how it works. Let me give you another example. When I tell you that we're electromagnetic beings, that is not an opinion. That's physics. There's more energy in your hand. There's 11, millions, 11 million kilowatts of potential power in one pound of body weight in the hydrogen atoms of your body, enough to light a small city. We are electromagnetic beings. When you get into a high vibration, it forms attraction, right? Attraction responds to vibration. So if you're in a low vibration, you're going to attract depression, poverty, disease. If you're in a high vibration, you're going to attract everything you want. So we are magnets, right? So this is really what this looks like. It's the law of magnetism. It shouldn't be called the law of attraction because people think that's ethereal. This is really what you're doing. There's you. You're the magnet. If you keep your vibration high, you put the body into motion, you're eventually going to, they call it manifest. The physical form of the thing will show up in your life to the laws of attraction. So wanted to give you guys a brief mindset training because network marketing is like a gateway drug into entrepreneurship. It was, the, it was the first thing that got me to start all these companies, to meet Bob Proctor. And it's such an exciting ride. You got to enjoy the ride. Don't be so concerned with the results. Just do your part of the deal. If you want a light to be on, you turn the switch on. That's what you guys got to turn the switch on and leave it on. All right. So that's what we're going to do here. I want you guys to open up your phones or your Instagrams, or your Facebooks, or whatever it is. And I want you to set yourself a goal of reaching out to 50 people. It's going to take longer than the time we have. It might take two hours, might take three hours. What else are you going to do today? We're all stuck inside, right? <laughs> so this is, uh, this is the time, by the way, this whole virus thing. I've used this time to just knuckle down and grow my companies. I'm going to just knuckle down and grow my companies and when, when we get to go out again and play, I'm going to travel and do some fun stuff. But I'm using this. I'm looking at the good side of this. Brian? Hello? Hi, it's Honesty. I have a couple brand, brand new consultants on the are you, call. Are you being honest? Yeah. <laughs> like only like a week old. So <laughs> can you kind of go over like the spacing of the text and the verbiage of this may not be for you, but it's worth sure. checking out. Hey, Maddie, can you do me a flavor? Do you have the, um, the Google... The Google Docs up? I don't, but I can get it. 
All right, so my daughter's gonna put a link to a Google Drive. In the Google Drive, we have a lot of text scripting, and I'm gonna go over some of them here, but don't think you have to take notes. If you guys go to the Google Drive, you'll see some of the language, right? So now what, what Honesty's talking about is copywriting. And again, this is good for all areas of your life. If you, if you guys want people to pay attention to your emails and your texts, then you wanna use visual flow and auditory flow. All right, now visual flow is just breaking up individual thoughts. Make sure you, when you're texting, don't text people a block. But they won't read it. It's confusing to the mind. They don't do it in emails either. If you guys are sending emails and you block everything in one block, you want to go from thought to thought to thought. So if I was reaching out to Dr. Kenny Harless and we hadn't, we hadn't touched base in a long time, I would say, um, I would reach out on a talk, say, hey, Kenny, what's happening? And then I would put a space. The chat's disabled. Oh, really? Sorry, guys. There you go. Uh, so I would say, hey, Kenny, what's happening, brother? And I'd put a space. I said, listen, it's been a while since we connected. Space. Are you still working your chiropractic business? Space. I have a business idea I want to run by you. Space. I'm not sure if it'd be a fit or not, but I'd love to catch up and see what you've been up to and go over with you. Space, would Monday, Wednesday, or Friday be a better time to connect? So there's a few things going on there. I'm gonna reach out, I'm going to relate it to what he's doing. If I was reaching out to Mary and she had a daycare, hey Mary, how you doing? You still running the daycare? Listen, I have a business I wanna run by you, or I have, you can say this too. You can just say, I have something I wanna run by you. I have something I want to run by you. I, I think it might help out your daycare business, but I'm not sure if it's a fit. I'd love to get on a quick phone call or a Zoom and see what you've been up to. So that language is a lot going on there. Related to what they're doing, I always say this. I'm not sure if it'd be a fit or not, but it's worth checking out. What you're doing is neutralizing their mind. I don't know if this is going to be a fit. I'm not going to tell them you'd be awesome at this. That's a red flag to the subconscious mind. Total red flag. Hey Q, what's up brother, man? I got this new business, we're gonna kill it. We're gonna get to a million bucks this first year, man. You gotta do this with me. That's just all kinds of red flags. And I wouldn't use the word opportunity either because that's a red flag in and itself. I have a business idea or a business model. I have something I wanna run by you. I'm not sure if you'd be a fit, but it might be able to enhance your real estate business. Either way, I'd love to catch up, love to jump on a quick Zoom, show you what it's about. Would you be open to jumping on a phone call? Would you be open to jumping on a Zoom? So all we're trying to do here, guys, is break the ice to get on a phone call or a Zoom. All right, the other thing you could do, you could go from the text, you could actually invite them to a Tuesday night, which is an open presentation, but I personally use those as a second escalation. Right. The first escalation for me is I'm going to peak interest. I'm going to get on a Zoom. I'm going to play a video. That's the deal. I'm going to use the tool. And then from there, you guys can use your upline to help answer questions. Hey, Warner, what's up, bud? Hey, I just wanted to say I, I forgot about a hack I used to use uh, years ago when I was a phone guy. Uh, there's a program called Contacts to Excel. And what we we did at the time is we would use contacts to Excel as soon as we got a new person in the business because it gets their whole phone off of their phone and puts it into a spreadsheet into Google that they could share with you in a Google Doc. And then, you know, I would get lists of six hundred names, a thousand names, and I I just I forgot that I had these old lists. And I have, I probably have about 2,000 names off some old contacts that I've had uh, from uh, prior stuff that I did. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that could be a good, uh, a good hack if you guys are uh, building lists like that. Um, so really what I'm talking about today too, guys, I'm talking about if you've just started your business. You know, we teach, we teach the evolution of this business over time. If you're going to give us a year, we teach you guys social media strategies. We teach you guys LinkedIn strategies. We can teach you corporate. This is just to get your business off the ground. I promise you guys, you have a million dollars in your phone. No word of a lie. Most people just, they don't go through their phone 
and literally contact every single person. Here's the beauty of V. If you open up your phone, you start with the letter A, um, that person has a cell phone. That person probably has internet, right? What are we doing? We reduce cell phone and internet. You start with that person. Now, whether they're close to you or not, you can always reach out. If you learn some language, you can, you can reach out. Now, I don't care what they say back to me. This is the biggest thing I want you guys to get. Don't be so concerned with what somebody says back to you. Don't be concerned if you sign customers. Don't be concerned if you sign business partners. All I want you to do is put the energy out, right? If you want a light switch to turn on, you turn the switch. You guys don't know why the light turns on. You don't concern yourself about the physics of why a light comes on. So don't concern yourself if people sign up or not. I know it sounds weird, but I promise you, if you surrender to the process, if you're studying Eric Worre's GoPro, if you're reaching out to people, you're going to figure out the language that starts to work for you. You're going to figure out the presentation that starts to work for you. We need to do this over time. Hey, Brian. Hey, good. Hey, I have a quick question. Sure. In the, you were talking about putting them on a Zoom call. How do we go about, uh, or, you know, we can get on it, but if we're trying to get you involved or our upline or whoever that may be, how do we, do we need to make an appointment with you first? And yeah, that's, that's a really good question. Really good question. So uh, we have all kinds, you guys have all kinds of uplines. So make sure you get acquainted with more than just one person that can do um, three-way calls or three-way Zooms. And we'll put, a, we'll put a couple numbers in here. But yeah, if you reached out to somebody and you piqued interest, and you watch the presentation with them. You say, what did you like best about that? They're going to give you some answers. Well, cool. What I think we should do now, let's jump on a Zoom with one of my business partners or a phone call. Let's get on a phone call with my business partners. They can help explain the compensation a little better and the business model. Now, I use that specifically. When I first started, I would, I would say that. So listen, let's get on a call with my business partner. He can help explain the compensation can also show you if this is going to be a fit or not. So the reason for them getting on the call is to find out how we get paid. Like everybody at least wants to know how we get paid. So that's some language you guys can use to help get them on the, uh, on the phone. So what you're trying to do with the video is kind of pre-qualify them. If somebody watches the video and it doesn't peak interest, then move on. The, 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 most, the biggest mistake that network marketers make is they keep trying to convince and convince and convince and convince. And there's nothing in network marketing that says to do that, by the way, you're going to burn out. If the video doesn't peak interest, they're not interested. They're, they're literally telling you, and you can just, you can leave it at that and you don't have to burn the relationship, right? We're only looking for open-minded people. And I'm talking about the business side of it now on the customer side of it. I mean, everybody's interested in saving money. So all we got to do, is bring our skill level up over time. Now, network marketing is relationship marketing. That's why I said you guys want to lean on the relationships, your brothers, your friends, your sisters. Listen, it's like, I know this is the sixth thing I've done. I don't care. You're my brother. You're going to do this. Sit down, watch the damn video, <laughs> right? You can lean on the relationship. This isn't like the last thing, bud. This is going to save you money. I can show you some examples, but it's going to help me. It's going to help me in my business. It's going to help me get off the ground. Quite honestly, if you're talking to your brothers or your sisters, I don't care if it costs them money. Like, support me in my business, you know? Now, you don't have to use that kind of language, but that's the mindset you want to have. You got you to gotta punch them in the gut a little bit. I mean, wouldn't you help your sibling out? Like, why are they not helping you? Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. hey what's up, brother? Oh, no. I, I, I was just going to say, actually, she can go ahead and ask a question. I'm sorry, ladies first. Go ahead, Misty. Uh, thank you. Um, quick question. You, you say you, you show them a video. When you get on the Zoom call, what's your go-to video that you're showing them? Because I'm sending them the videos through the Rapid Funnel, um, and I'm seeing that they're watching them and things like that, and then I check back in to see what they think. But which ones are you sending, or which one do you, which, what's your go-to? So my go-to is my own video. I'm obviously a little biased. <laughs> um, and that's just me. I mean, it's, you're going to find your own groove, but if you, if you send a video in Rapid Funnel and they watch it, I would call them. I wouldn't follow up with a text. I would call them. They just watched it. Hey, I just saw you watch the video. They're going to be like, how'd you know that? Well, we're a technology company. That's the cool part. Right? So if, that's what I would do. So if you're, if you're following up with a text, I would probably call them. Can you put in the chat your link to the video that you're showing them of you? Sure. I'll give you, I'll give you two of them here. Just bear with me for a second.
Now, if we show them your video, that's going to go towards you, though, isn't it? No, no. It's connected with you? No, all I'm doing, there's no link on there. It's not my website or anything. All I'm doing is presenting the business model. If you guys have ever been to a Tuesday night, that's what I'm doing. I'm going through the slide deck. It's just, there's a lot of language in there. There's a lot of NLP in there. And there's a lot of language towards today's situation. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm explaining, listen, here's the value proposition. There's millions and millions of people sitting at home right now. We're a home-based business. There's millions and millions of people that need to save money, cut costs. That's exactly what we do and there's no charge. There's millions and millions of people that could use to get money back from two years ago on their taxes. We have a service that gets an average of four to $8,000 back in people's pockets, right? Millions of people at home, they're saying, don't go to the hospitals, don't go to the doctors, we have medical. And the last thing for the value proposition is we are a recession-proof business. This virus has kicked a lot of people in the teeth. Wouldn't you like to have a monthly residual income coming in from a business you started five years ago? So there's a lot of language in there. My suggestion, guys, if you're going to use my video, is to watch it. Make sure you like it. Make sure it resonates. It's a little longer. It might not be the first thing you send. You might send a two-minute video, peak interest, and send the longer explanation. So let me go ahead and grab that for you guys. And while you're grabbing that, Brian, I just wanted to add, I saw somebody put in the chat, they're having a problem with closing. So I'm just going to let you know, first and foremost, if you're a newer person and you're having a problem with closing, that's why you have a three-way call. But I have a close that sounds very a matter of fact. If you show them the, the two-minute video, then you show them the longer video, let's say with uh, Brian, if Brian's handsomeness doesn't close it for you automatically, which that's worked really well with me, that's why my numbers are popping. But if his handsomeness doesn't close the video, I call the people back and I say, you know, most people that saw both of these videos and understand what we're doing fall in one of three categories, A, B, or C. A is A, you had me at hello, I love the business, ready to get started. Man, I've been looking for something like this my whole life, I'm ready to go. B is I like it, but I got questions. And if you got questions, we got answers like Radio Shack. And that, if they say B, then that lets you know that they're ready for a three-way call. You need to get somebody else on the phone and see is I just want to save and I want to start saving right now and I love to be a customer at C. If they fall within those three, um, you say, and it's work, oh, you say you use it and it's, it's work. But if they fall within that three, they literally put themselves in the category and you know which is the next exposure, right? Because it's always exposure after exposure. It's, it's not about getting people on the phone and they get on right now. I was in another company and sometimes it took eight months before somebody got in, right? I, I talked to them at first and it took eight months. Now, I have a very silly, crazy personality. After eight months, I tell them, you see how stupid you was eight months ago? Like, you're so much better now for saying yes, right? <laughs> but it's, it's one of those situations that it's not that ABC close is not like sign up today. It's literally like, hey, most people fall within three categories. And at those times, no nobody who would say just no, who would say D, no, right? Because now it's like you don't want to save money, you don't have any questions, you're not ready to go. Like everybody else falls within those three. One last thing I want to say just about what Brian is saying. The reason network marketing works is that I need you to understand there's billions of people out there and billions of bills with a B, right? Everybody has a bill. With that being said, practice on your family members. It's like playing ball with your cousins or something. Like, this is not a championship game right now. Practice with them hear what the three-way calls sound like, see what people are doing to lead, and now that's going to rub off on you because you're going to be doing it over and over and over again. And now you're going to get better into a, a whole nother level to where you can talk to complete strangers because you've built that confidence, you've built that knowledge through just practicing with, practicing with your cousins and them. 
right? So I just wanted to throw that out there. But I think that's a good trial close. That's all. No, that's that's uh, that's brilliant. It's textbook. It's the only close you really need, right? And what, what you guys got to understand is a lot of uh, neuro linguistic program. When, when when Nolan says most people fall into this category, there's a lot of NLP because everybody right. wants to be. Nobody wants to be an outsider. So when he's saying most people fall into A, B, or C, A is you see the value, you want, to, you, know, you want to sign up with me right now and go. B is you might need a little bit more information, which is totally cool. C, you don't want to start a business, you don't want more information, you just want to be my customer. That, that is such a, um, is that in the GoPro as well? I think it is. No, he doesn't do that close. He does the four. So here's, here's, here's my thought process. And I just want people to realize this. And for those that are on my team, as far as Justice League, we are looking to build leaders to where when you're brand new, that three-part close, see, um, really works well. So it's not, it doesn't even feel like a close. It's a mm -hmm. trial close. When, when you do the three-way call, then we do the four-part close right. with Eric Worley. So all the leaders will learn the four-part close. So after I answer questions, I ask these four questions, and those four questions to literally get to the point of, if you have the time, how much do you need to make, all of that. If I can do all of these things, would this be attractive to you, right? And so then, then that's even a harder close, but it's literally coming from a leadership standpoint because the edification is the part that really helps with the three-way call. Mm. They already know you. So when you say, you know, this guy, his name is Brian. He, I mean, he has on this magic man outfit that he <laughs> looks like a magician and chicks dig a, a magician, right? So when you say that and they see his picture and you say, damn, he does look like a magician. And then when he gets <laughs> on there and he produces his magic, then people kind of sit up straight. All of my people, they go sit on the phone with me and be like, oh, it's just Nolan. He's a silly dude. But then when they see magic on the phone, they sit straight up like, yes, Mr. <laughs> Bryant, right? And so the edification kind of happens and helps with that whole, with just the mindset. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So nuggets of wisdom here, guys. So I, I froze the chat for a minute because uh, somebody was good enough to put in um, the ABC chat. So you can see it right there, right? Most people that saw both of these videos fell into one of three categories. This is a very easy thing to learn. Have it written out in front of you right and that's a very simple thing and it'll escalate somebody to either either sign in your business or get on a phone call and become a customer so um guys Mark, i'm gonna put a quick question for you sure how you doing uh, charles davis here um hey, charles. i'm just coming back into the business after taking a hiatus oh my man you know, uh, that's yeah, right what's happening yeah. how you doing good, good. um personal stuff uh but anyway so i'm coming back into it and i was trying to find out if i need to um, upgrade to a pro consultant before I can continue further because I already have people that I've reached out to almost two years ago who I've already reached out in these last couple webinars and they're still interested they're just want to know more about it so I guess my question to anyone who put it out there if I'm coming back into it what should my first step be well here's here's the school of thought I mean I, to me this is a business so my whole team are just all pro members because that's where that's how people earn money in this business I have pro members and I have customers. Now there's different schools of thought here. You don't have to be a pro member. I would never say that, but all of the bonuses, all the compensation, the entire business model is structured based on pro memberships. And your team is going to do what you did. So I always say network marketing, look at it through a magnifying glass. I want you guys to pretend you had a thousand people in your business, a thousand people in your business. And you were an affiliate and you have a thousand affiliates. There's zero commissions coming in times a thousand. Right. Except for if they're into the bills, you have some bills in there. But I'm saying that it's, as far as the, the bonuses, the fast start bonus, the rewards, like all five ways we get paid. So people are going to do what you do. Here's another way to look at it, too, as far as the magnification. Look back at this week in your Vive business. Write down on paper what you did. How many times you show the business? How many times you ask somebody to be a customer? If the answer is zero, then zero times a thousand is zero. But if you even asked one person a week to become a customer or to show the business, well, one times a thousand is a thousand. So uh, Charles, ultimately it's up to you to make your own decision, but 
people are going to do some version of what you do, some percentage, probably less of what you do. Right. That makes sense? Yes. So if you're back and you want to go after it and run a business, I would say become a pro. Okay. And then everybody under you is going to become a pro and that's everybody's getting paid. You know, it's not a, I mean, the services we offer the, as a pro member, you get the tax strategy session. I got my numbers back the other day. They're, they're clawing back $28,000 for me. You know, was that worth a hundred and eighty nine dollar sign up? The average savings there is four to eight thousand dollars. The average savings as a Vive customer is eleven hundred dollars. So it starts to it makes the hundred and eighty nine dollars and the sixty nine a month look like a joke, but it's just the cost of doing business. Sure. All right. Um, thank if, you. if you want some help too, you and I let's jump on a call. I'll get you back up to speed. All right, man. All right, brother. Thanks. Awesome. Guys, I'm going to put those videos in the chat if you want to check them out, if you want to use them. Um, there they are. There's a 15-minute shorter version and there's a 25-minute longer version. Don't just blindly send those out. Make sure you, you watch them and they resonate with you. But make sure they resonate. They tend to resonate with a lot of professionals. I have a lot of CEO types, doctors. I have a Hollywood producer, some professional athletes. We have a lot of high-profile people. And this 25 minute video is the one that um, it explains it like a business at a, at a pretty high level. Make sure you watch it before you use it. Uh, let me grab the tax link for you guys too. Hold on a second. Let's see. Hey, Brian, and also that um, you did, you sent out something for real estate professionals, the video, I forgot what, what platform you sent it out on. That's a YouTube, that's a YouTube video. No. How did you send it to us? Oh, uh, I think I sent it through group text, just texting. Okay. Yeah, I can send it to you if you need it. Let's see. Hey, Nolan, thanks a lot, man, for all that wonderful information you gave us today, man. Thank you. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. Everything is good. Everything is good. You know, um, I just want people to really realize this business. I want you to, I want everybody on this call to realize this business is the easiest business you'll ever be in. Like you have three different levels. So he, he says it in GoPro. You can do corporate. I did that. I used to be a sales trainer at at and You can start a company from scratch. I've done that. I've, my video production company is Vids Inc. Then you have network marketing. I need you guys to realize Vive is over regular network marketing. I just need you to understand because there's no upfront cost. There is no auto ship. There's no membership. There's no, and there's no selling. You are literally giving people value. You, you can make a million dollars by giving away savings. That's crazy. Like I need you to, there is no upfront call. You, there's a no risk, no lose situation. Even the $150, you need to put it in your mind a little bit different. When you look at that, I mean, $189, when you look at that $189, to get your first bonus, all of the bills that are, are applicable in your household that you can save off of goes toward you getting your 150 bonus. Then when we adjust your bills, we probably go get you more than 30, 40 bucks back in your pocket. That's your 189. Usually any other business that you want to be a product of the product, give a testimonial, you have to spend more money out of your pocket. This, you put as many bills as possible to get you back to that 150. And then when that's adjusted, so for people that mope about the 189, I'm like, dude, you, you, are you missing it? There's something that you're missing. So I just, I, if you don't look at it like you're selling something, that energy of I'm selling something and this is awkward, that comes through. Mm -hmm. When I, I, I really believe in, in the phrase, and I know a lot of people may not, and I, I understand that, and I don't want to disrespect anybody, but I wholeheartedly believe in the phrase, shut up, right? Like I tell my <laughs> kids, shut up. I tell people when they, when they going off on tangents, I'll be the first one to do, dude, shut up. 
listen to what I'm telling you because people have all of these preconceived notions and people will tell you these stories. Oh, you're trying to do this. You're trying. Nope. All we're trying to do is save you on your bills. That's it. There is no gotchas and shut up. Like that's how I feel about it. So when you feel like you're giving a gift as a your, your demeanor of giving a gift is different than let me sell you, Mr. Customer, right? That's a whole different demeanor. So I just feel like I'm giving everybody a gift and that's it. So just, hey, just, so just wanted to add that because I think sometimes the nervousness of having a new business, never being in sales, uh, been in sales before, and now you feel like you're selling something now, like, dude, it, you are literally giving people a gift and we're finding our own money for our own auto ship to make residual income every month in what you budgeted every month. That's dead money. That's just how I feel about it. So that's it. I, I just have that. one more question, Brian. This is for either Nolan or for Brian. First sure. of all, Nolan, I love your energy, man. You, you crack me up. Um, <laughs> I confirmed a meeting with a friend who works in sales for to do a Zoom sometime Monday. And I'll probably call Kenny because I already reached out to him. So what should I lead with? Is there, Should I just get him on the call or should I lead with a video? I would lead with a video. Yeah, at least the two-minute video. You got to give him something. Otherwise, that's a good point. Make sure you guys are leading with a tool. Otherwise, when we do the three-way calls, it's going to be like an hour long. Three, we got we to explain the whole business over the phone. That's not it. The three-way call is always after you've exposed them by using a video. Okay. Make sense? Got it. Yeah. Charles okay. Davis. Yes, sir. Hey, Charles, you, you, uh, you reached out to me on Facebook? I sure did. Yeah, that was me. Okay. All right, cool. I'm trying to figure out if we're related. <laughs> Hey, my grandfather's name is Charles Davis. That's my middle name, by the way, is Charles, Nolan Charles Davis. So, so you got to be a good dude. We'll, we'll talk Absolutely. Absolutely. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Hey, guys, the last thing I'm going to put in the chat here um, is for anybody here, and I, I, um, this is not for everybody, full disclosure, warning, whatever. This is not for everybody. If you're looking to get to five or six figures a month in this type of a business, though, this is for people that are going after it that way. Uh, a bunch of us are going to the GoPro Mastery in Vegas. I know Nolan, a bunch of people, his team are coming. Whitney's whole team's coming. I know Q's coming. Maddie's here. A lot of us are going. But again, this is not for everybody. This is for people that are looking to really get to six and seven figures in this business. Uh, this is where we learn all this Probably stuff. Days. Right? This is, where we, this is where we learn all of the, all the stuff we're teaching you here. Uh, and the GoPro Mastery is in Vegas December 8th through the 10th. And we're going to spend the whole week there. It's going to be Vive in Las Vegas. But this is where I met Bob Proctor. This is where I met Tony Robbins, John Maxwell, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, Grant Cardone, uh, Pitbull. Like we, this, is, this is where you learn from the world's best. And these people aren't even in network marketing. Right? See, if, if, you want to, if you want to understand success, don't talk to somebody who's made a million dollars. Talk to somebody who's made a few hundred million, like a John Maxwell. They'll tell you they haven't even been in network marketing that this is the greatest, greatest wealth generating tool on the planet for the masses, right? Unless you're Mark Zuckerberg, you have that idea. This is a way to get you guys where you want to go. So for anybody that wants to join us, um, I posted a link in every year I buy a whole block of tickets. So it cuts the price in half for you guys. So the tickets are two sixty each and there's a link there for, for one or two tickets. And again, there's no, it's just for people that want to go to that next level. It's what I did. I was three weeks in the business. And I was mentoring with somebody that was earning 150000 a month. And I said, I just want the straight scoop. I want to go to the top. Tell me what's up. So number one, you got to go to this. So I was in this week business for three weeks. I had sponsored three people. The four of us went to GoPro and the rest is history. Like we built the biggest team. We had the uh, fastest recruiting and all that. And I don't say that's on pressure. I just, I learned the knowledge. There's three days of, of just uh, that type of a knowledge. So anybody wants to join us, uh, there's that. All right, guys, any last questions the before we wrap up? Say, yeah, the chat's disabled, but... Well, that's because I, I, I want to... Yeah, I, I froze it so we can keep the links. You guys are chatting away. Oh, yeah, no, I just had a question. It's actually about the, the conference because I know earlier you, uh, in one of the meetings uh, you had put where the conference was going to be, how we could register for the hotel rooms. It's the MGM Grand, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I had registered, but I just needed to change something in there. So, but I couldn't remember because I'd already registered, but I couldn't remember where it was. And so. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Now yeah. So I'd like, I know it's somewhere in my email somewhere, but <laughs> think about I this. didn't know how to change those reservations. <laughs> sure. So think about this guys. We all have the getaway package. Like we are a travel service. We have mm -hmm. a discount travel book it through your own portal. I book all of my travel through my own portal, save thousands and thousands of dollars a year. I think a lot of people forget all the services we have, you know? Um, so if we, that link that you had given us before, so is, was that the cheaper route or is it cheaper to go through us then? The link that I gave you is just for the ticket. That, no, it, no, I meant like that reservation at the hotel, that block that you put. I didn't give you one. I don't have a block. That wasn't me. Oh, oops. It might've been, I don't know if that was for the summit, but all I'm doing is uh, cause it's, you know, it's pretty far away. So we haven't gotten into anything like that, but Whenever I book my travel, I go through Getaway. Oh, okay. So the only thing I'm giving you guys here is discounted tickets because the tickets, I think they're 470 and I have them here for uh, 260. But they, um, we got not many left and we bought a block of 100, almost all gone, especially since Nolan's team came on. Um, so get them while they last. They're going to go for sure. All right, guys. Any last questions? Oh, somebody wanted the realtor playback. Um, let me do this. Let me do this. Brian, I have a quick question. This is Betty Ann. Is there a um, WhatsApp group for this Vive group? Yeah, there is. There's a couple of them. Um, Whitney, are you on by any chance? Or Jay, anybody from the Texas team? It's a Telegraph link. Telegraph. Is that open to everybody? or? Uh, money savers, is she? Yeah, she's on here too. Uh, I don't, I don't know of any WhatsApp groups. Um, yeah, I don't know of any WhatsApp groups except for the, uh, there is a, there is a pace setter group from the company. Once you guys hit pace setter, like my, my main woman, Kathy just did. Um, it's a leadership group. Once you guys hit pace setter. All right, guys, here's uh, another link. I know there's a lot of links, but um, once you guys get connected to this stuff, can you guys see the link I just posted? That's for the Vive Success Network YouTube channel. This recording from today will be there. The realtor recording, any trainings, anything we ever do, we record it and it lives on the Vive Success Network YouTube channel. So I just put a link in the chat there. Can you guys see that okay? Yes. Yeah. Perfecto. And that's where the recording from this will be. And the one from uh, the realtor training we did the other day with the realtor presentation. So we did a, we did a realtor specific V presentation that you guys can use for realtors. It's just, all I did was spin the language a little bit and I showed how to weave this into real estate. All right, everybody. So I got to go to the next deal. I'm going to reach, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to reach out to 50 people right now. That's what that's, there's no secrets to this. We got to go to work. And um, don't be so concerned about the results. Hopefully you guys get some screenshots. If you didn't, you can get the recording here and you should study that little mindset chart that I gave you because that's uh, that little stick, man. That's you. That's your kids. That's your spouse. That's everybody. You start to understand that. You start to get the keys to the kingdom. All right, guys. So be well. God bless. Nolan, thanks for chiming in, brother. Nuggets of wisdom as always. We'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot, Brian. Good thing.